Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and we're almost at Father's Day already. Can you believe it? Almost Father's Day. Who is the, I can't keep track of the years of the holidays anymore. It seems that as we age, everything just keeps coming more quickly and quickly, almost as quickly as it takes to make my recipes. Now, to celebrate Father's Day, I've partnered with one of my favorite brands in the universe, a brand that I hope that I've brought much awareness to you to have in your pantry or your refrigerator, because once you open it, you're gonna refrigerate it. I'm talking about better than bouillon. In particular, today, we're gonna go with their ham base. Yes, better than bouillon doesn't just make chicken or beef or vegetable broth, they go beyond that into even ham base, as well as many other things like lobster base, roasted garlic base, turkey base, they got it. They have more flavors than any brand that I know, I'll tell you that. But we'll get back to the better than bouillon in a moment. What is a great recipe that would go with the typical grilling of Father's Day. I'm talking something to accompany some delicious, big, juicy hot dogs, maybe some burgers, and it just struck me. What else is there other than baked beans? But not just any baked beans. We're gonna make the ultimate baked beans that you see here in my original orange step-by-step -step Instant Pot cookbook. This was when I am told the number one best-selling cookbook of 2020 during the pandemic by a debut cookbook author. Not just for Instant Pot genre of cooking, for any cookbook genre of cooking, okay? And the book is loaded with gorgeous color step-by-step -step photos and a final shot of every single one as well as a timing bar. There's never any guesswork in any of my recipes. So I wanted to bring this recipe to you on the internet today with my partnership with Better Than Bouillon and I wanted to show you how to make the truly most ultimate, amazing baked beans that might as well just be candy at this point because they have that wonderful element of sweet in it as well as the savory, not to the point of it being overpowered, but you're gonna see it's truly next level. You'll never touch canned baked beans ever again because this is the real deal. So let's have our friends Better Than Bouillon join us in going right to the Instant Pot and making the most sweet and savory and delectable baked beans you've ever known. Let's go. So the very first step to this recipe is to just create some ham broth. And we're gonna do that, as I mentioned, with our fabulous Better Than Bouillon ham base. Okay, so you see on top of the, of the jar here, it's gonna tell you that one teaspoon of Better Than Bouillon equals one bouillon cube or one eight ounce can of broth. And to create this, all you do with the ratio here is add in, you'll see it's a concentrate, one teaspoon plus one cup of water equals one cup of broth. This is why this stuff also stores so well. 38 servings of broth in a jar. You see that? So one teaspoon of the Better Than Bouillon base plus one cup of water equals one cup of broth. In this case, I'm using eight cups of broth, so I wanna use eight teaspoons worth, or two tablespoons and two teaspoons. So I just go in the jar here, and then I'm going to add it to my water and then I'm going to mix it up. And don't worry if it's not fully dissolved at this point because that's gonna happen when it comes to pressure. It's gonna totally make sure it's nice and dispersed. And now I'm going to pour my ham broth into my Instant Pot liner pot. Always make sure that liner pot's in your Instant Pot, by the way. If it's not, you're gonna pour it directly on that element and we don't want that to happen. We wanna make sure the liner pot, the stainless steel one is in there. Now I wanna take one pound of dried, not canned, dried, pinto beans, make sure they're pinto beans, and I just put them in a little fine mesh strainer or a colander, and I rinse them, okay? Add that to the pot with our Better Than Bouillon. So a little option here for you, if you have the extra time, if you want super, super soft beans, instead of just dumping them in the Instant Pot now with the eight cups of ham broth, put them in a large bowl, the beans, with the eight cups of ham broth, cover, with a lid and then pop in the fridge for eight hours or overnight, okay? And then we'll go to the Instant Pot and then just dump the beans with the broth into it and then pressure cook it, as we're about to do. That will ensure super, super soft beans. However, if you don't mind a bean that's a little bit more al dente, it'll still be absolutely delicious, you can skip that step and just do exactly what I just did. Now all I gotta do is pressure cook. That's how easy the first step of this recipe is. And what I wanna do there is I wanna make sure that my Instant Pot is sealed and some automatically seal them for you depending on your model. Now we're gonna come down to the control panel on the Instant Pot and hit the pressure cook or manual button depending on your model. And I wanna increase the time to 25 minutes at high pressure. If your model has a start button, hit that. If it doesn't have a start button, after a few moments of doing nothing, it'll go into the function. 
In the meantime, you can now prep all your other ingredients. And there are quite a few of them, so definitely prep them while the beans are cooking. It's just gonna save time at the very end there. Um, but I'm telling you, all these ingredients are super, super simple and very, very basic. Okay, and now that the 25 minute pressure cooking period is done, and now we're gonna allow a 25 minute natural release. So all in all, it's really 50 minutes of cooking, all right? That means we do absolutely nothing for 25 minutes. The display is gonna now begin to count up the elapsed time since the pressure cooking cycle completed, and once it reaches 25 on there, well, that means 25 minutes have elapsed, so set the timer, a separate one on your watch, your phone, whatever, or on your old-fashioned stove there, and then come back in 25 minutes where we'll finish this off with a quick release. And by the way, 15 minutes of the 25 have passed, and I noticed that my pin has actually dropped in that time, which, by the way, if that happens, just let it be, still give it the full 25 minutes, and then we don't have to quick release because the pin already dropped, we can take the lid off. If for some reason your pin is still up, because every model is a little bit different, also depends on altitude, then you'll do a quick release when it's done after 25 minutes. But again, if that pin dropped a little prematurely, you won't have to quick release. But regardless of what happens there, make sure it's at 25 minutes before we take that lid off. It's gonna ensure that the beans are fully cooked. Okay, and now that 25 minutes of a natural release have passed, actually it looks like 26 in this situation, we can either finish with a quick release if our pin hasn't dropped, or if it has, we'll just take the lid off. And there we go. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take my liner pot. Hello, everybody. Hi, Richard's filming this. Bring it over to the sink and dump it through a colander. So everything gets strained. Now, I just want to take some cool water and rinse my beans off. All right, that's fine. We're going to let that chill out, and now we're going to continue with all of this amazingness and go right back to the Instant Pot. Now I'm just going to return my liner pot to the Instant Pot. You can rinse it out, but there's absolutely no need to, and we're going to finish this all off. What I want to do is I want to take a quarter of a stick or two tablespoons of salted butter and add it to the pot and then hit the saute button and make sure we get that nice and melted. Now let's hit that cancel button and we'll hit the saute button and make sure we're on the more or high setting. Alright, once my butter is melted and bubbling in the pot, I want to take one pound of a thick cut bacon that I literally just sliced into pieces like this. I just kept it in a straight row when it's all kind of fused to each other out of the package and just sliced it into pieces that are about a half inch thick or so. I just get the cheapest bacon you could find on sale, but try to get thick cut. One pound of it, add it to the pot with the melted butter. And now we're going to saute our bacon in the butter for about 10 minutes. And have a little patience with bacon as it pan fries in the Instant Pot because it's going to take a little bit of time, like I said, about 10 minutes. And every so often, give it a stir. And you're going to see it's going to stick to the bottom a little bit here, causing a brown, cakey residue. That's fine. That's all going to come up soon. But the thing about bacon is that once it begins to crisp, it happens very, very quickly. So just again, about 10 minutes this is going to take. Mostly let it rest, stirring occasionally. And you see, as the bacon cooks, it releases its juices. I don't like to say grease, because like juices just sounds nicer than grease, right? Especially because we're gonna be keeping that amazing bacon juice. Um, and look at this. This is perfect. This is about 10 minutes. If you want it to be more well done, you can just keep going until it's to your liking, but this is fine for me. So I'm gonna take a slotted spoon now, and I'm gonna take a paper towel, put it in the bowl that I had the bacon in before I dumped it, and then put the cooked bacon in there leaving the juices in the pot. Okay, and that is perfect. If there's a couple of extra pieces of bacon in there, it's fine, don't worry about that. We wanna leave that bacon juice in there because now we're going to add in one sweet Orvidalia onion, or you could even use a yellow onion, that's fine. I use a large one, and then add it to the pot because we are going to now saute this up in there. We'll do this for about another five minutes until the onion softens a bit. We don't want it to be super duper soft, but if you want it to be, you can. But I like it to have a little bit of a bite to it. There's my reserved bacon, look at that, looking beautiful. As it rests, by the way, it's gonna continue to crisp up. See that? It's gonna just continue to get nice and firmed up there. Now, as we're sauteing our onion, they're gonna release water. So that's gonna be an easy way to help deglaze the bottom of your pot of any of the brown bits on there. Not like it really matters to deglaze all that much now because we've already done the pressure cooking portion with the beans that are nice and infused with that better than bouillon hand base right now. 
but it doesn't hurt to always just deglaze the bottom of the pot anyway. Okay, so five minutes of sauteing our onion has passed and I think that's perfect. If you want, you could taste one and if it's still too firm for you, you can just keep sauteing and it'll get softer, but I think this is perfect. Now we wanna add in one tablespoon of the sauce I can never pronounce, Worcestershire sauce, all right? Put that in there. And if deglazing before didn't get the brown bits up, now it certainly will. Worcestershire sire sauce works wonderfully to help deglaze and get any brown bits off the bottom of your pan or pot, I should say. Look at that, it comes up much more easily now. Pretty smooth, see that? Nice and clear, perfect. Okay, and now we're going to add all of our remaining ingredients here. Remember all these that we prepped while the beans were cooking so we don't even have to deal with them until now again? Nice and easy. I wanna add a third of a cup each of the following. Molasses, or blackstrap molasses, which is basically the same thing. Pure maple syrup, make sure it's pure maple syrup. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, use your favorites, as well as dark brown sugar. I also wanna add in three tablespoons of a tomato paste, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of liquid smoke, and one teaspoon of ground mustard powder, as well as a quarter teaspoon of either allspice or ground cinnamon. It, either one is fine there. And if you hate mustard, you can leave it out, but I can guarantee you it's not gonna taste like mustard. It just gives it a nice flavor undertone. So I'm gonna add all these things to the pot. And I'm gonna stir everything until it's nice and combined. And now that everything is nice and combined in the pot, I'm going to hit the cancel button and then just hit it on keep warm. And then that's all I wanna do. And we'll hit the cancel button again and then hit that keep warm button. And we can make sure we're on the normal or the high setting, that's fine. We now have the most outrageous, outrageous sauce for our baked beans. And I should say, better than bouillon, ham base infused baked beans. Let's return the beans to the pot, along with our cooked bacon. And then just gently give everything a good stir until the beans are totally coated and tossed in that incredible, incredible sauce. This is next level baked bean goodness. Look at that. You're probably never gonna find a better baked bean recipe than this. I know that sounds like really like, you know, a little snobby to say, but I'm telling you right now, it's just got everything going that it needs to make it the best. I mean, just take a look at it. Need I say more with the amazingness going on in here? You got the beans, you got the onions, you got the bacon, better than bouillon. All those incredible, incredible ingredients, basic, simple ingredients to form that ultimate syrupy sauce. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, let's serve some up. And a really nice way to serve these up, in my opinion, is in like one of those French onion soup crocks. Look at how pretty that looks. Beautiful. Oh, and forget about it. The beans infused with that better than bouillon ham base. Oh my gosh, next level delish. And this, my friends, is good enough to eat. Just listen to that glisten. Can you listen to a glisten? Well, if you could, you can certainly listen to this glisten. Look at how beautiful it looks. All right, now we're gonna serve this up. And here they are. Look at how beautiful they are. I really do love this bowl for it. Let's just dig in, literally. It's like a dig in situation here. I'll give them a try. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, there's just nothing else that compares to these baked beans. The flavors happening in here, you saw what we put in there, between the molasses, the syrup, the barbecue sauce, the ketchup, the mustard, the Dijon mustard, the, everything that mixed in there, as well as the bacon and the bacon juices that we put in there with it. From the onion, the sweet onion, and don't forget the beans that are amazingly infused with that better than bouillon ham base. Unbelievable. And of course, check out Better Than Bouillon, which you can find in many of your markets in the soup section typically, or you can easily find them online as well. Go to betterthanbouillon.com and check that out. I almost said better than bouillon, but if I said better, you probably might spell it B-E-T-T-A instead of B-E-T-T-E-R, because that's the Long Island accent thing. Betterthanbouillon.com. Oh my gosh, I mean, you got everything in here. Mm. I'm not kidding. Like, if I went to a barbecue and this was there, I kind of like tell the hot dogs and hamburgers, you, yeah, you're the side dish, this is the main. You know what I mean? That's how good this is. And I'll tell you something, it ain't no crock. Well, it isn't a crock, but it's not a crock. You know what I mean. Trust me, it's gonna be the star of 
any barbecue. Or you can bring your Instant Pot with you if you're glamping or camping, whatever. You have the power hookups, make this there. It is the best baked beans you're gonna have. They're the ultimate baked beans. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. You can check out all my recipes at PressureLoveCooking.com because I have so many there that run the gamut from uh, more indulgent like this to lighter. So if you wanna shed a few or you wanna eat a little bit lighter, then by all means, check those out as well. I have everything though that runs the gamut from lighter to comfort. I also am the author, like as I mentioned when I started here, of cookbooks. Not just one, but four. Look at this, the Rainbow Collection Instant Pot Cookbooks. I got the original orange, the lighter blue, the comfort food yellow, and the super shortcut green. This is my quickest one of all of them, and it's just as tasty as all the others as well. Go to facebook.com slash pressurelowcooking and like that page, because anytime a recipe comes out, you're gonna know when it's there. Make sure you follow it. You, you wanna be in the know with all those things. I also share a lot of other tidbits that are very useful for you, like deals on items and things of that nature. And at Pressure Low Cooking on all the other social channels like YouTube, subscribe there, Instagram, all that stuff. Thank you so much again for watching, my friends. And the next time you go to a barbecue or a grilling situation, situation there and you want to have a side that doesn't really fall behind the scenes, well, <laughs> just grab a jar of Better Than Bouillon ham base and make the ultimate baked beans. Oh yeah. Enjoy. Wow. Look at this. Mm. I mean, the whole room just shook from that. Come on. Great.